Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly. So let's get right into what this week is going to bring for you. To start off, let's see what's in the bottom of the deck overall energy that is going to be sort of adding all these cherries on the top. So this is the ice cream. So we have two of C. So Aries is in the mood for love. Okay, so let's see how how you're going to push this through this week. So the base here is give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership and yet you think you can do that by sleeping or do you really think that you can do it with your eyes closed? Let's see, the infamous Aryan confidence. You see it's crossed with passion and it's crossed with sea kittens. Sort of like you want to be passionate but you know, I really don't know if I want to dip my feet in, in, a, in a kind of like water here. So come on, Aries, like which way are we going to go? But what are you bringing to this week? So you're bringing romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And you are bringing this amazing ace of fire. So you are all gung-ho. You really want to go. You want to go ahead. You want to shed the past. And honestly, unbelievable from some readings that you had, this is like amazing step forward, amazing. I just love the overall feeling of the spread. So what was, what are you leaving behind and what are the lessons learned? You see, retreat, like, oh, come on, please leave it behind, it's still here. I know you didn't leave it behind, it's here. It is time to disconnect from the world. So it was something in the past that you had to take time for yourself to kind of think through it. It was either on your own or with a partner or however that finished, it was sort of inner kind of thought process that you had. And it's coupled with Ace of Sky. Ace of Sky is not lies, but it's truth not to be told, which technically is a lie, right? If somebody doesn't tell you something they should be telling you, it's truth. It's, it's a lie by omission in my books. I mean, I consider it a lie and I would freak out equally. So was it somebody who didn't tell you the truth and that's why you retreated and you kind of like you knew? Or was it you who didn't tell the truth out of what you thought was a politeness? In any case, it caused some kind of like private time and going deep. And right now you're a little bit exhausted, a little bit exhausted. This is all your, like, I mean, thought energy. You're just like, you cannot do it. You want to give this relationship a chance, but something is like pulling you back. So let's see what are we going to do with this romantic feelings everywhere, Aries. I guess you're like getting all gang-ho about, about the upcoming birthdays. So let's see what's up here. We have um, homework for the week and message for the week is like love yourself first. <laughs> Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and this is coupled with 9 of C. Okay, I have to turn this camera off right now because oh my god, telling this to Ares, I'm like now I'm so, so afraid that some kind of nuclear bomb is going to be set up somewhere. Like the most confident sign, telling them to love themselves first and look, you can get whatever you want. Okay, see you later. Just kidding. You guys, you guys better chill. Like, I mean, this is, this is really, this is really big news. So the week is telling you that you have to enjoy. The week is telling you to love yourself and find things that you enjoy. So, you know, you have this passion, you're charging with this passion. This is your raw energy. But I think this is what's going to really charge you with kind of like enjoying sort of like the things that life can offer. So, this is leading us to uh, basically near future, which kind of like is still uh, unknown. And so we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate uh, may differ from your usual type and expectations. And you might be setting your eyes on someone, right? So that someone who is, you know, that, that someone understands what's going to happen to him or to her. Because you guys, when you charge, in this kind of mood, relying yourself first is going to be interesting. So that is bringing us to how you really feel about yourself this week. And that can kind of change things around and that's overall flavor can be changed. 
In your case, it says, pay attention to the red flags and the signs are cautioning you. I think you kind of conquered that lesson because you left this in the past and you kind of like didn't deal with the issues in a sort of like aggressive way. You kind of dealt with it by completely kind of like retracting from the situation. And here, I see that you feel that you accomplished something. Even if this was a breakup, you feel that you accomplished um, graduating from your own school of self-respect. And when we kind of do that in life, when we don't go for a guy who cheats on us, when we don't go for, you know, somebody treating us second best, and we kind of like, kind of playing these games with sweaty palms, we actually end up gaining self-respect. Every single little bit of self-respect we gain is taking us to the next level. And the next level is taking us to the better people and better choices. So ultimately, this is really uh, paying attention to the red flags and not allowing red flags to run our life. So how others see us at this stage? And it's going to be interesting because for you, you obviously are charging, you're going forward. If you set mine on someone else, you're willing to stalk somebody, you're willing to kind of like go after your prey. So what are the others saying about that? See, the others are saying, worth waiting for. Just as I was saying, divine timing is at work in your love life. And this is coupled, this was coupled with two of sky reversed. Well, this is this proverbial indecision and not knowing where to go. The others feel, and even you feel, that it's time to get ahead. You are like not really hesitant. This is like, right, you had this like one reverse over here. Now you have two reverse. So one is like sort of like just establishing the territory here, like if it's charging in one direction. So the kitty is kind of like here looking where to go. And and others know that this is what's going to happen, but you are like not rushing there like I mean so obviously you are more into kind of like let's be strategic behavior so fears and hopes this week is healing family issues and your love life benefits as you forgive your parents as a confusing card so i'll explain a little bit more and then you have a grace reversed right so what is basically happening here is Sometimes we have occurrences in our life that we attribute to issues with the partner or issues with the other people. And somehow these issues keep repeating and repeating and we are in a different place, with different uh, workplace, with different partner, and we yet have the same issue. So what's going on? Is it continuously that we attract partners or are we projecting that energy or is it both? That this lesson will kind of keep repeating until we actually learn it. So we cannot go to the next grade until we learn it. But this is basically saying that none of that is correct, that we actually have to go all the way back to what was the very first thing that happened that we kind of could interpret the situation. So let's say if you're getting somebody in our life who is not trustworthy, who is a cheater, could it be as a child that our parent promised us something and that was not delivered and then whole our life that kind of lingered somewhere and it was like just transferred onto somebody else. So this is what's talking about. Try to find out what was the original issue or what really bothered you with your parents, with your family, and kind of try to link the present circumstances back to that and heal that issue. And being coupled with the grace. So the cat getting through thick, thick and thin over here, sort of like it's falling a little bit out of grace. So you have to also kind of backtrack your own steps here and see where you fell into your own trap. Where maybe did you fell for blaming someone where maybe the problem was not that person, maybe the problem was something completely el different, and, and you're going to kind of like, after backtracking, forward track, and go right back into your own element. You're going to basically call help of your friends, let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others, and then you're going to come to this full thing. So look, you're coming the full thing from Ace, to fire kick. It's just like full tilt. It's, it's in your basic flavor. It is in romantic feelings. Let your friends help you. I'm wondering if your friends are going to introduce you to someone and that's why you have to keep an open mind because you know what happens when their friends introduce us to someone. We never like them, right? And we are trying so badly to make it work for our friends but it actually doesn't work. 
Well, in this case, I would say pay attention to red flags. If the true red flags are there, fine. But if the red flags that are not really red flags, that there's something that is issue from the past, resolve that issue, come back to the table with this person and see if this repeats still or it's gone. Because it could be gone. It could be that you just killed the original issue. So let them help you be yourself. This is you coming in your full glory. Look at the fire. Look at the aura of fire. You are coming to yourself, Aries. This is so lovely to see. I don't even know if there is anything for me to confirm. Or, like, everything is clear. Actually, I just want to see why the heck you want to sleep. I want to see <laughs> that. How long will Aries sleep and be in this kind of free track mode? Let's see that. And what is this all about? You are waiting for something. We have waiting. We have constancy. And then we have pleasure seekers. So you are waiting for something really gorgeous to happen, which we have seen it. Passion. Luck, luck. That was the waiting for the passion. And you're getting passion by the end of the week. But, you know, here is saying that kind of like you relate a little bit out of balance. And this is constancy is like the, the reverse. And you have like little bit too much of the good times which is now in the reverse and this is why you need to rest it's nothing really con like, nothing really big it's just like simply you are tired you poor Aries you just simply partied too much so I hope you enjoy your forecast for a week Aries check your monthlies as well and yeah check your dailies and until the next time I love you